Let's talk pop. Oh, hi, Jisoo. Hi, Rosie. Oh, hi, Jenny. Oh, hi, Lisa. But the YouTube algorithm did it again with Lexi Lu, a Chinese pop star with her electro pop hip hop style brand and distinct look. Lexi Lu was trained from birth to be a pop entertainer, having learned to dance and play piano before age six. She got her break through reality competitions, and her model looks made her perfect for fashion. However, it's not the element of pop superstardom that made me like her. Not the music, her look, her dance routine, her fashion, or the fact that she does it all herself. No, it's her music videos. Lexi Liu's music videos are basically short films, but not just a standard short film, but well-made, structured shots with great sound design, mystery, and filled with tiny bits of symbolism that make me watching her videos so interesting. Hide and Seek continues using symbolism to enhance the theme by using a literal concept to represent limerence. Lexi sings about a relationship ending and the longing it results in, but she's also playing the lone occupant of a space station, watching a meteorite head towards Earth. That's like, that's so dramatic. But it works and is very beautiful, because as the meteor looms towards Earth, Lexi powers off the ecosystem keeping the plants alive and sings how she's sick of the hide and seek. She puts on her best outfit as she exits through the air shaft, floating in space as the meteor destroys the world. Continuing the futuristic themes, this alligator, written during the pandemic about how the source of information was only through a screen, the flow of misinformation, the control over what we see and know. happen it will burn away. To represent this idea, the video has Lexi waking up in a barren landscape to symbolize the blank thought space where she finds a giant screen where Lexi is singing and dancing for her entertainment. But then another Lexi falls from the heavens and this Lexi has experiences of simulation theory oscillating through them to meet herself in the center of a digital landscape and battle herself. When she suddenly wakes up in a lab, a patient, where she tries to sneak out but is captured and placed in a room where she has a powerful experience with her higher self that sends her falling from the heavens back toward the start of the video. On the giant screen, Lexi burns down the continuously playing record of media and as it burns, she dances in the middle of a ring of fire with her masked dancers behind her, dancing away as the source of media burns. Carousel is the first of those cinematic short films I mentioned. A poetic little piece of narration. As Lexi simply writes and the song starts. But then this shot happens and it all stops. Then. We just get an interesting interplay of dualism with a dreamlike visual and sound design that reminds me of the FX show Legion, all building and building until the actual song finally drops like... And it's such an odd pairing, but that's what the dualist symbology seemingly leads to, and I can't be mad about that. Song ends, and Lexi can leave the computer finally, making this music video a simple meta statement. Fortuna is another short film, a play on the tarot. It starts with pop star Lexi relaxing in her car away from fans as we flash back into her school days where her classmate showed her tarot, the Wheel of Fortune. Song begins and the lyrics are packed with esoteric references to Egyptian gods, rebirth, and various symbolic references to the fortune. She also sings in Spanish, yo. <gasps> Meanwhile, her fortune begins to reward her and her track career takes off, but she ends up a symbol herself for brands. So she runs away from it all, unable to discern if her greatness is due to herself or to fortune. Luck having a passive quality while happiness is proactive. 
the video ends with this example as a truck carrying lemons crashes into her in an unfortunate situation and life literally handing Lexi a lemon. And know what's cool? The next music video, Magician, is a direct continuation of this one, beginning right with the lemons. A male student is mourning over her, but in comes Lexi Liu, dragging a goddamn broadsword like it's Elden Ring, representing the sword suit of the tarot, and she sings a song once again, packed with the esoteric references. I can lead the way to a sacred including a chorus that almost seems like a remix of the prayer to the lesser ritual of the pentagram. Which is Grant Morrison levels of wild. Lexi has seemingly transcended into a level of gnosis, represented as an angel in white and black. This goblin look here, and this sexy version riding this mechanical bull, representing the four suits of the tarot and the four faces of the creature witnessed by the prophet Ezekiel. Lexi sings about the power of manifestation and taking control over one's world to set the intentions only to then let the magic happen and doing so with esoterically themed references to the tarot itself. It's a wonderful change of pace of what you normally hear for pop lyrics of any kind. Staying in balance with divine love to manifest magic through the form of creativity. Lexi Liu and her music videos are fun, visually stunning, high quality production with wonderful little nuggets of symbolism used to reinforce themes in the song and provide an extra layer to the whole of the art in a pop song. And thank you to all my Patreon sponsors, Jeff, Jeff Channel, Adam, Geek, Anthony, Kopi, Tees, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Njol, John, Terrence, Danwork, Edward, Kev Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious Royals, Party Marty, Punk Wigs Videos, Mina Shirakawa's, Boobas, Benji, Dr. Enzik, Juggernaut Graphics, and Polar Bear. Thank you very much.